Hello everybody and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 with me, Midgeman. This is the first edited video I've done in a while and I thought I'd come back to an old favourite. Uh, CK2 is a game that I've put many hours in and have done many, many long playthroughs of and even a few edited videos. But uh, today we're going to try something that I, I snuck on some viewers uh, during a multiplayer. I thought I'd share it with you all. Apparently, someone, one of my friends has stopped playing Apex Legends. That's what that noise there in the background was. Apparently, I left my origin on. But let's get off the loud loading music and get right in, shall we? So, we're going to be picking the William the Conqueror start date. And I want to show you in this episode just how much you can break the game by doing one simple path. And it is available to Christians and Muslim characters alike. Yes. But we're going to be in the Holy Roman Empire. We're going to a certain county. Certain county over here. Where would let me find it? Uh, it's that one. Basil. The county of Basil. Um, we are going to be playing as the Von Habsburgs. And we are going to try and become the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Yes. Yes, we are. And the reason I'm going for William the Conqueror in the 1066 stop day is we don't get any of the random bullshit with, uh, with England. Actually, no. Bugger it, we're gonna go for high middle ages and uh, give Harold to draw to the, uh, the, the, the chance he really, really deserves. But anyway, we'll, we'll explain more of what we're going to do once we step right in. And just to prove that it's possible, we're going to be doing it on Iron Man mode. So, who are we playing? Yes, we're playing the single county Von Habsburg who starts with nothing but we are going to take him to the top he also starts off rather crap and a tough soldier but we're going to change that and we're going to be going intrigue focused oh everyone's thinking oh I know what he's going to do he's going to just murder his way to the top well yes this is CK2 what do you take me for uh, we've got some kids as well and I'm going to find someone to educate him but we are going to break the way game in a specific way and that specific way that we are going to break the game is by turning our back on religion and going down a certain pathway here yes we're going to join the Shia assassins now bear with me again uh, anyway we're just gonna do some normal CK twoing and um, I'll get back to you once we have joined the assassins guild so one of the important things about the Von Habsburg start is that nobody uh, in your area owns the duchy level title above you. In fact, it's one of the one one of the many that is creatable by uh, the emperor himself. And quite often, if you're friendly with him, he will give it to you, as long as you're one of the most you have the highest opinion in the area of him. And as always, the HRE is declaring war. On France, we're not going to do much fighting, though. Uh, we're just going to try and sit here and uh, do our thing. Do our thing until uh, till we're required. Until we're required. Another nice thing about the Von Habsburg start is you actually start with both baronies within your land. You've got both um, Habsburg and uh, Bas Basil. Oh my goodness, he only went and did it. Harold Hadrada owns England. Well, we're in for a fun timeline, everybody. We are in for a fun timeline. This is where the fun begins. Good. My wife is pregnant. More Habsburgs means more marriages, which means Habsburg plus marriage equals profit. Wait, I forgot to put the chins in that calculation. Oh, I have a claim on the county of Nichenstol or whatever that says. I have more men, so I will use it. We're gonna go grab the county, and then hopefully we can become the duke eventually. Oh no, oh, no. someone has already been given the duchy. Gosh darn it, but oh well, I will take the duchy from within. Chin powers, activate. So let's move away from the fighting for a moment. We've got the first line of the, uh... okay, excuse me, I'm trying to read here. Can you stop being shot with arrows in the background? Come on. Okay, that's a bit better. Right. <clears throat> Most guests have departed and the evening has turned into early morning. Yet, Sheik Qutub Abdin Baris 
And I are still deep in conversation. We're talking about religion, righteousness, and how to do the right thing. He expresses his admiration for those willing to give their life fighting for their beliefs. I agree. Totally. We're quiet for a moment, both seemingly contemplating the de these devouted souls. Then... Barris looks up at me, a curious intensity in his gaze. It is not possible to wish, Werner. Are you ready to kill? And if he wills it, get killed to defend the words of his prophet and the rightful heir? I am. And you say there is a way? I do, Werner, says the sheik. With a solemn, almost ceremonial voice. There is an order devoted to Allah. Mm, okay. And the rightful caliph. One of those uh, true faith... Uh, one of the true faith. And with a vengeance of... of to their pur their death. One that defends those of true faith and brings vengeance to its persecutors. The assassins are already in need of champions. I think it's over and someone might reach out. Me? An assassin? Perhaps this is my destiny. This is that weird timeline where... Um... <clears throat> My eyes open, seeing only darkness for a moment. My mind is blank before the thoughts of haze and sleep. Why did I wake up? A deep, a, a deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful Imam Ali. I will carry out his wishes in secret. Now this is this is important. Secretly Shia, rather than um, openly. Otherwise, if we're openly Shia in the middle of the Holy Roman Empire, things do not go well for us. Oh. Um, they want me to kill my wife. This woman is the enemy of our faith. Enter. He offers me a dagger. Yeah, I'll kill my wife. That's fine. Stand up, adherent Werner. Welcome to the assassins. I am now an assassin. Oh, loving the turban, Mr. Von Habsburg. I need to find a wife. I've pondered my mission to train an apprentice in the shadowy arts of assassination. I am considering my own Otto. He has been illustrating a steely determination in some matters. I think he's more clever than he lets on. Could it be a dangerous path? But under my wing, perhaps he could excel. Yes, we will make our son an assassin. Apparently, today we're sporting a green turban. How very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, you want me to try and kill... The Count of Montbilliard. Well, that's a bit more close to home, so, uh... Let's see if we can plot to kill him. Aha! Assassination successful. Wow, the hat game is really strong for Count Werner here. Otto von Habsburg, you turned out... Uh, disappointing. Got an army of secret Shia children. Okay, I've been given my next mission. Kill the patrician um, of Bilbao. So another perk of being an assassin is you get to do drugs. So uh, I'm going to strive for balance, as all things should be. And, uh, you know, um, take some drugs. So once you reach the second rank of assassin, uh, if you send gifts to certain members of the assassins, they will also now join you in your assassination tasks. But the uh, fantastic thing about that is, you tend to only have to pay them once. So if you pay for a fair few of assassins, this is where the game gets very broken. And you actually just get the ability to, uh, you know, uh, kill pretty much anyone you want. Because instantly, boom, there's my plot power. Um, and yes, all things as they should be. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Now we are a uh, pretty potent assassin. So, we can now cause a lot of realm instability. Uh, just because whenever I go to a plot, my assassins should join me. Unfortunately, we don't have the power quite to defeat this man here, but uh, I'm sure I've got some uses. Exhibit A. Got a few people I need to come kill in this family. Oh, my father-in-law just became the Holy Roman Emperor. And I'm murdering his sons. It's, uh... When does that... Oh, it doesn't fall off for another eight years. Come on, kill the man. Time to strike. Yes, we killed him. Okay, back to my O'Neill. Oh no, we got a child of Satan. 
My little son Wenzel is not like other children. He does not scream or cry or even get upset, but he observes the world with keen interest. This morning, he burst into bubbling laughter when a cook cut his hand badly and there was blood everywhere. And I almost do not like him. He does make a strange buzzing sound when he's near other children. Um, maybe he's just been watching B movie too much. Uh, lethal nightmares. No! Oh, yes, the, the child of Satan is going to start killing all my kids. Ah. Wenzel. Please don't kill Verna. He's... Mm. Yeah, that's... That's an issue. My brother, some rat, rat bub, claims that some, something tried to kill him in last night. He woke up with a small shape pressing down on his chest. It ran off hissing. But left a lasting long needle behind. I think it was just a nightmare, but the maids leave needles... And the maids leave le needle... Yeah, it's, n it's not Wenzel. Christ, Wenzel is like five. How is he murdering people? Seriously, it, it just doesn't happen. Oh no, the crusades have begun. The spawn of Satan has accepted Shia as the true faith. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. I'm playing as Verna. Oh, the spawn of Satan is technically out of my court. And I'm a lunatic. Okay, uh, I cannot stop coughing. Something is filling my lens, and I'm maybe sure to sh Oh, okay, apparently I'm fighting somewhere. Somehow, I'm in command over here, but I've died in a battle over here. And I don't know, understand, but attempt two failed. We're going to play as the demon child. My true father spoke to me in a dream, revealing his plans for me that the world should bow to my strength, and the people will accept the truth of the devil in their hearts or die. Yep. Yep. Still gonna be an assassin though. Look at that intrigue. Would you want me to kill my nephew? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I've got to kill a Sunni man. That, that sounds quite easy. Uh, Yes, 41! 41. 41 intrigue now, look at that. Oh, they want me to kill the King of France, very nice. Yoink, let's do it. Let's get let's get his murder going. Also, at the same time, we're gonna declare war on our liege, because he's a child right now, and we finally got ourselves a claim. Huzzah. King of France is dead. This woman just died under suspicious circumstances. I think I murdered her as a werewolf. Very intriguing. Good, my wife's dead. Have I got three witches in my court, I've just realised. So yes, we seem to have Jezebel, Cersei, and uh, Morgana. These lovely fine ladies within my court. I've been given the chart task to kill the Grand Maester of the Knights Templar. Is the doable? And there goes the uh, Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller. I'm now Grand Master of the Assassins, everybody! Oh yes, I can start marking people for death. This is fantastic. Right, I just got all my army killed because I wanted to test out an army of an assassins. Let me lead my army of assassins into battle. Oh my god, why are they all cavalry? That's fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, so this is the miraculous bullshit when you get when you're Grandmaster of the Assassin. Look, look at the amount of people that want to help me. Finally, I am king. Oh, look at this. I'm finally a king. Oh, I got, I got excommunicated. Give me a moment. Just got a load of people to murder. Give me a moment. Um, had a huge rebellion, and uh, I think this is the easiest way to deal with them all. Just, 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 just. Sh 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 sh. Okay, I've begun my plot to get everyone to vote for, to get me the Holy Roman Empire. I have a weak claim. Can I just straight up press it? No, not right now. 
But if I keep killing Kaisers, I might get there. I've just realized there's a Von Habsburg on the throne of... Uh, without even meaning to, I Von Habsburgs the Von Habsburgs into Scotland. Right, I'm going to intimidate these rulers to favor. I'm going to use my... So this is where the final power comes in. You intimidate all the big old rulers of uh, the Holy Roman Empire. They all join my factions. Right, how's all my, sh my sh faction is 100%? No, so 80%. We've got to try and get it to 100%. Tyrol, you're quite big. Right, we have 140... I'm, I'm going to leave that revolt. It doesn't matter. We have 141%. Let's see if we can demand... I know, I need to be at peace. Fuck. Okay, Civil War 1. Oh, finally the war is done. We can push the claim. We can finally finish. Demand installment of claimant. Then war it is. And there we have it, folks. I am the Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire. But now... I need to do one more thing. There we have it then. There is the Holy Roman Caliphate owned by the Habsburgs. Albin. Albin Habsburg. I did try to convert everyone in the land. However, um, a lot of them are kids, so I can't forcibly convert them. So that is how to wreck CK2. Got a massively uh, Sunni land uh, beneath us and uh, yeah if you want to try this I definitely recommend you guys give it a go it's a lot of fun we ended up with this demon prince of the caliph uh, with um, something like 39 kills yeah and some gorgeous stats if you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like and uh, I'll see you guys next time I've been Midge Man goodbye now Thank you to my top patrons of this month, Michael Redman, Hackham, Longbeard, Marshall, Rommel, Christopher Cook, and Robert Strader, plus all of the others going past on the screen right now. If you want to be a patron and really help out the channel, go down to the links below and find out how. Uh, what's that, Mr. Emu? Remember to subscribe and hit the bell button for more Midge Man content? Well, what a fantastic idea. Myself and Mr. Emu will see you in the next video. Cheerio for now.